So I really think that depends on a conversation with your CPA and where you are financially. So as a married couple, you can walk away with 500,000 tax-free if it's been your primary residence for two years, if you're single, 250,000. So if you're, let's say you're married and you have that 500,000 and you don't need to use that money to reinvest into your next primary residence, and you could use that to, you know, turn it into a rental. If you look at the people like I see in Newport Beach specifically, families that have accumulated wealth over many, many, many generations, it's real estate. So the more real estate you can hold in the long term, the better. That being said, being a landlord has become a little bit riskier in these times with COVID and the moratorium on evictions. You just have to make sure that you are a little bit risk adverse in that situation and that, you know, if somebody doesn't pay their rent and you have vacancy for a little bit, that that's not going to be too hard on you and that you have income sources from other places. But I mean, real estate in the long term, it, it really is how people build multi-generational wealth.